congratulations. It looked very good. Yeah, it felt very good as well. Um, apart from when Jao made that just incredible break to go four each. Um, yeah, potentially another match where I kind of sort of scratching my head, wondering how how on earth I got beat. Um, you know, Mark Joyce played just some of the best snooker ever played against me to to come out on top in the UK six five and. Jao was doing the same again there, so um, you know to have that opportunity to um, you know pull a really good long red off his break mm. off and win the frame in that visit uh, was yeah definitely very pleasing. I mean, I've been there many times. When you, you're four four and you've, you've done nothing wrong really in my eyes, I thought it was a great performance. Do you tighten up a little bit in that deciding frame? Does it mean so much more to you than when you, you, you're flying and winning matches easily? Um, yeah, I guess when you're sort of, you know, if you constantly sort of get into later stages of tournaments, maybe you feel a bit more comfortable. Um, I think the fact that because of how well I had played, I'd know I, mm. I knew I didn't do anything wrong. So, you know, whenever I was going to get an opportunity in that decider, I was going to go for it all out. And, um, you know, thankfully it came off his break off. And, uh, and yeah, I was able to, to make a really good break under pressure. I sat down and watched the start of the match, watched all of it. And the first thing I noticed straight away is where you were queuing. You look to be super smooth. Your arm looked really loose and relaxed. Is it something you've been working on, or just? Yeah, I've been practicing harder than ever the last two yeah. months, and um, you know, playing ever so well in practice. And obviously, you know, as you know, as a player, taking it to the pra to the tournament tables is a completely different thing. And um, thankfully, you know, all the hard work I've been putting in, I've you know played fantastically well in the UK, and I'm able to do it here this week as well. So you know, I've just got to keep up the practice and hopefully get my hands on another trophy this season. You are such a force. Would you say you're close to being back to your best? Or you're back to your... I mean, you're not in... Uh, better. better. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. better, yeah. The, the last couple of months, you know, with the amount of practice I've been doing, I've, I'm seeing my game reach another level, particularly in the scoring department. So I feel as though I'm playing better than I ever have. It's just a, a matter of, you know, the opponents starting to realise that and making a couple of mistakes, knowing that, you know, if I keep producing these kind of performances, players know that if they miss, I'm going to clear the table and... That's what I need to just keep doing on a regular basis. It's such an old adage, we get out what we put in. Mm. It's, it's the same with, but why do so many of us s sort of take that for granted, that the practice levels drop, don't they? That the performances don't come. You think, well, what's going on here? And yet it's there black and white, isn't it? Yeah, You're that's it. In. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had a bad run in a game where I've been practising really, really hard. You know, It's always come from maybe you have a couple of good tournaments, you reward yourself with, with the week off or something like that, you know, and you just feel a bit comfortable <laughs> and then you, you expect that you're able to just yeah. replicate that whenever you want. And it's not like that, especially today with... You, know, you get tested from the very first round here, and um, yeah, you know, you just got to practice hard. It's just down to practice. Nice to see you, Batchy. Best. Cheers, matey. Thanks.